Baths. Visit them today at affordablekitchensandbaths.net. It's 8.34. Dan Buck sitting in for the ailing McGraw-Millhaven. Hopefully he'll be feeling better and back in the saddle tomorrow. But I get to do one of his favorite segments, which is with Kat Neville, who always brings us the great weekly restaurant reviews. And today she's got two unexpected places to find great food. And i got to get this plug in there because you are sponsored by Jimmy's on the Park. Down in Clayton, you can call 725-8585 or go to their website at jimmyscafe.com. You can download the app for Jimmy's Cafe, too, to your, your smartphone to find out what all their daily specials and everything great going on at Jimmy's, but you're not talking Jimmy's today. You're going to be telling us about a couple other kind of uh, surprise sites. You wouldn't even tell me going into the segment what you were going to talk about. No, McGraw always likes to be surprised when I uh, when I come in. So, uh, Did you bring I, food, by the way? I didn't. Everybody always asks Why me that. Why don't you bring food? Because I left places? my house at 7.30 in the morning to be here. God, I think <laughs> if you were going to talk about my restaurant, I would want to give you food to I take know. into the town. Sometimes I do. One time I actually brought in um, a box of truffles from Bittersweet Truffles and McGraw oh. seriously inhaled it by the time we were finished with the segment. So oh my gosh. It's like if you bring it food, so good. And I gave watch up your chocolate. fingers. I gave up chocolate for Len. Why? Oh, for Len. I know. That's a sacrifice. It is. It's killing me. <laughs> my wife was actually baking brownies last night. Can you believe she, she would do that to me? Is she trying to torture you? I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> you know what I gave up for Len? Did, Did she, she forget? No, she had some, she was doing it for a thing in our Oh, school. so she was removed them from yes, the house. Thank gosh. Yeah, yeah. He's sitting around the house. I would have maybe broken my Lenten sacrifice. Oh but. gosh. Anyway, let's talk, let's talk restaurants. Okay. So I love it when I happen upon places that unexpectedly have great food. And I happen to be at, uh, at a, a meeting, um, out in, out uh, far in St. Charles County. And I was driving back and it was lunchtime. I was starving. And I just happened upon this shack on the side of the road a shack. A shack. Okay. With this little blinking sign that said O P E N, open. You know, open. and I was like, okay, uh, that piqued my curiosity. So I pulled into the um, into the parking lot and I looked at this little, you know, menu that was tacked on the side of the shack, and it turns out it's a chili shack. Oh. And it is located um, at the intersection basically of Highway 370 and Newtown Boulevard um, out there in St. Charles County. Does it have a name? It does. Mm -hmm. It is Molly O's Chili Shack. Man, tomorrow after the snow and the rain start coming perfect. out, is that not the perfect place to grab some great Exactly. Chili? So the chili was good. Oh, yeah, I'm, it's very good. It. Okay. She has um, a white chicken chili oh. that has a really nice kind of heat to it. Um, the texture was perfect. And then her red chili is actually sweet, mm. um, which I thought was really interesting. It had a different kind of a flavor than what I was used to, and I and I enjoyed it. There are, um, she also, little known fact, I love chili dogs. Mm. And, um, and so she's serves chili dogs and then there are these add-ons that you can have like cheddar cheese and jalapenos so with the sweet red chili i put um the jalapenos oh. in there and kind of spiced it up and it was awesome and then on fridays she serves chili mac oh. which is everybody's like home Same, style yeah. you know stick to your ribs favorite you know you can it's a really obviously a teeny tiny menu because you know yeah, just a it's small a shack. little shack. It yeah. shouldn't have a lot of room. Is there inside seating or is no, it all? It's, it's a window. Yes, it's, it's a, a window, window shack. Cash only. I okay. want to make sure everybody knows cash only. Don't bring a credit card. And um, Molly is a very sweet woman. And I talked to her. I was like, how long have you been here? She's like, I've been here for a couple of years. And so we do chili in the winter. And then in the spring and summer, they do uh, shaved ice. Oh. And so she said that she's going to be shutting down in a couple of weeks for spring break while her kids are on spring break. Mm -hmm. And then they're going to open back up. And when they open back up, it's going to be like shaved ice and, you know, Snow all cones. that. Exactly. Awesome. I mean, I think it's so fun. And um, does she have soups at all, too? Or is no, it, no, this is that is it. it chili it's like homemade sweet red, homemade white chicken, cup of chili, bowl of chili, jumbo chili, plain mm. hot dog and chili dog. Wow. And then you can get some Fritos. And um, and then so you can also, they also have um, some homemade pumpkin bread. That's almost worth driving out just to try. If you if you well, live in the it. city and you want to just do a little road trip, the weather might be a little tough to get around. Yeah, but I mean, just think about, I mean, 
you know, younger, actually younger having. Younger where? Where did you say it was? It is at the uh, at Highway 370 and Newtown Boulevard. Highway 370. I'm gonna write this down. Okay. And Newtown Boulevard. Mm-hmm. And and seriously, it is just this little gray shack, and I just love seeing people that kind of put themselves out there. It's it's along the same lines as what people are doing with food trucks, where you've got something very small, very controllable. It's just you and maybe one other person, and you're just putting out there what it is that you love. I mean, this is her personal chili recipe, and it's it's seriously like home cooking, and she could not be sweeter. She's and adorable. You, and you said it was dynamite. It was it was great. Good. Yeah, it's All right. great. Good. All right, and Friday that chili mac. I'm writing that's that right. down too because that's a that's a favorite of mine. I okay. know. I love it too. All right, and the second un- unexpected place to find great food. Yes, a movie theater. What? Yes. What? Exactly. So there is a new movie theater at the MX downtown. We're not talking popcorn food. No. 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 And um, so it's it's at 618 Washington Boulevard. Okay. And they brought on one of St. Louis's best known and most talented chefs to um, to develop the menu, Josh Galliano. Um, and they, so this is really fun. And I bought my ticket to the movie and I kind of go in and they say, you know, if you're interested in food, drinks, whatever, you order it from your seat. So you go in and you sit and the chairs are these big like recliner style chairs with cup holders. And there's like, you know, when you're in school and they have that swing out desk, there's a swing out table next to like on the armrest of your chair. Kind of like a TV tray. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Movie, it's a movie tray. Movie tray. There yeah. you go. Um, and so what you do is there's, what in effect, an iPad or a touchscreen iPad that is um, kind of like in a little holder near the floor, and you grab it, and you pull it up, and it's attached with a string, so you mm-hmm. can't, like, you know, drop walk, it or whatever, or walk, walk away with it, because it, yeah. it wouldn't be very, very effective <laughs> once you left the building. But um, it's connected to the kitchen, and so what you can order from there is a full Restaurant style menu, appetizers, salads, entrees. Wine. Oh, ab- oh, hell. Forget about it. Yes, of, <laughs> of course. course. This okay. is St. Louis. Uh-huh. Yes. Wine, beer, spirits. And this is good quality stuff. I mean, I um, they have uh, deviled eggs that are filled with this um, kind of like cheesy spiced mixture there. Um, Salume Beidou, which is an incredible um, salumeria. Um, they're actually located on Hampton. There's a Salume Beidou, um plate. There are all these local cheeses. There are so many local ingredients that are incorporated into this menu. It's very. It's this is not something where they just got you know frozen stuff from wherever and they're sticking it in a fryer. This is very very thoughtful food. There's an Ozark mushroom um, carbonara uh, on the menu. As far as like m- e- eating pasta in a movie. Yes. Really. Well, you can kind of see from the glow of the theater. Um, and here's the thing: it's the service is quick. They their goal is to get you your drink order within with in fewer than five minutes. And then the food comes out also quite quickly. Um, I also had this really fantastic salad that was um, it was uh, shaved um, shaved greens with uh, poached shrimp and and some raisins and um, and it was just it was it was easy to eat in the dark. Because yeah. you really do kind of have to think about that. But it was entirely fresh and good for me and, and totally full of flavor. And I had a glass of, um, what did I have? It was a, a Valpolicella, I think, like that. It was, it was an Italian wine. It was great. And it was in those really great uh, kind of Go Vino, Riedel, you know, shaped glasses. It wasn't, you know, just cheap, you know, plastic glasses. It was great. I got to ask, the ambiance of watching a movie, though, while people are also dining, was it loud? Do you hear the clanking of forks and things? I mean, it's on it plastic. Just- Oh, it um, so oh, okay. it does come out on like a hard plastic. Um, Do you have uh, real silverware, fake? It's yeah, it's plastic. plastic. Okay, yeah, so you it's don't plastic. have the clanging as much. Okay. No, you don't. And um, and everybody's very polite about it. You know, I mean, they're they're very. You get there early to do the. Dinner? I did well. What I did is I got there early so that I could sit in the seat and read thoroughly read the menu. I mean, it's a huge menu on this electronic iPad thing. Yes, whatever. exactly. Okay. Like right. ricotta dumplings. There's um, twice cooked scallops that are oil poached oh, and then man. seared. And served with um, roasted peppers and new potatoes and a chimichurri and sauce. It's soft, so it didn't make a lot of noise. Exactly. Right. There's red wine braised beef. Um, there, uh, they have the the salad that I had. By the way, is called the monster salad, and it's shaved collards that are on there. Um, and then what's really fun is obviously maybe you just want to go to the movies and get yourself, you know, something sweet and a glass of wine or something like that. Mm-hmm. And they even have local confections. So when you go to like that kind of concession stand area 
area of the iPad. Go to local confections. They have stuff from cacao. They have the, you can't have this until after Easter, but they have like the chocolate bark. Oh, yeah. Thank that you. he's so <laughs> sorry. Thanks for rubbing that in. <laughs> yeah. One more time. But tell they me, have some things you can have. Chocolate. They have great stuff from a Crown Candy, like their Heavenly Hash. Mm. They have chocolate. Thank you. I know. I know. Go ahead. But here, they have the oatmeal cream pies from Pint Size Bakery, which are amazing. It's two soft oatmeal cookies with this oh. wonderful vanilla cream inside. Nice. Hello. Delicious. Nice. Now, where is this place again in this movie theater? Um, it is at 618 Washington in that new MX development. Now, so right I, in the heart of downtown. Then. Yes, right okay. there. Um, and I have to tell you, it's a little bit hard to find from the street. There is parking. Um, and if you go to the um, if you go to the MX website, you can it gives you directions on how to find parking. And they give you a parking voucher when you go into the movies. But if you're trying to find it from the street, it's not easy to see. There's not like a big sign that says, hello, this I'm a movie theater. Um, so if you you happen to park on the street, which I did, you're going to walk around Pi, which is, the, is at the corner of 6th and Washington. You're going to walk past Snarfs, and then the MX is right next to it, and you have to actually go in and then go up the stairs. So you don't see, like, anything that's blinking and saying hello, welcome mm. to the movie theater. You, you kind of go upstairs, and there's actually a bar area where you can hang out before or after the movie. And, and again, I can't tell you just how lovely the staff was. I mean, they were, they were just, they're great, and they're really excited. They know that they've, they've got something really special going on there, and uh, I've never had a, a movie experience quite like it, and I can't wait to go back. Mercantile Exchange Building right on Washington Avenue, yes. which is really right there at the convention center. Yes, exactly. So there's ample parking in the vicinity. It's Absolutely. Just a, yeah, right. Absolutely. Absolutely. But, you know, if you're trying to find something on the street, you know, it's tough and you have to kind of park around the corner or whatever. So, you know, definitely, um, you know, you know, Take advantage of the parking garage that is there. Awesome. Awesome. Well, that's, those are two great things you wouldn't think really about fun. for a dinner. Yeah, for a, a Friday or Saturday getaway, and especially Molly's Chili Shack. Man, I'm, I'm excited. Grab about some it. on your If you live like out in Newtown or something like that, grab some on your way home and heat it up. I mean, it's a homemade food. So. That's out at the Highway 370 and the Newtown Boulevard and the movie theater down at 68, 618, right? Wouldn't that yes. be the 600 block of, of Washington? Exactly right? right. And that's the Mercantile Exchange Building. Awesome tips. Always great to have you in. I, I can see now why this is one of McGraw's favorite oh, se sweet. segments. Thank you. All right. Kat Neville from the Feast Magazine. Will you have write-ups on both these places? We are uh, on FeastSTL.com. We will be linking up, actually, the streaming video that uh, that they're filming right now. And, yes, we'll have uh, links to all the information that you need on the website. Awesome. Kat's segment is brought to you by Jimmy's on the Park down at 706 DeMont in Clayton. You can call 725-8585 or just go to their website at Jimmy'sCafe.com. It's 846 on the Big 550 KTRS. I bet you I can make you hungry. Tenderloin Benedict, crab cake and eggs, lobster scramble, and croissant French toast. That's brunch at Jimmy's, made to order the way it should be. Hi, I'm Jimmy Christo, owner of Jimmy's on the Park, and I'm inviting you to join us this week and every week as we feature our great Sunday jazz brunch. Our menu features a variety of great breakfast items, sandwiches and salads, and a special section just for kids, all made fresh to order at Jimmy's. Relax and enjoy live music by St. Louis's own Jim Manley and Mark Fredericks. Special drink prices on peach bellinis, champagne, mimosas, and the best Bloody Mary in town serve from 10 o'clock till 2. That's Jimmy's on the Park serving that great Sunday jazz brunch every Sunday from 10 to 2, lunch Tuesday through Saturday, and dinner seven nights a week. Call us for reservations at 725-8585. That's 725-8585. Or visit us at jimmyscafe.com. Join us for a brunch you're sure to remember at Jimmy's.